Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Welcome you guys, another episode of our Pokemon Daybreak Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are excited for this one, take a second out of your day and drop a quick like on the video as it does help out the channel. And if this is your first time seeing me or you haven't subscribed yet, take a second and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as I do post Pokemon videos every single day and this is going up on Monday of course the 16th we've got an action-packed week of Pokemon ahead of us I hope you guys are excited as the Pokemon presents is going down on Wednesday so daybreak schedule is gonna be a little broken up this week as uh, we're gonna be focusing on the presents but I plan to jump into this full force after we get through kind of the newest Pokemon news and as always you guys can tune into the Pokemon news with me at twitch.tv slash a drive where I stream every single day I legitimately go live every single day pretty much and I'm gonna be live streaming the presents it's going on at 9 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday I'll be live about an hour before for kind of a pre-game hype show but like I said if you missed the last one we took on our first gym leader Flora here the grass type gym which was actually really hard this game has proven to be quite challenging up to this point but I'm enjoying the challenge I'm glad I'm playing on normal mode because I can't even imagine what hard mode would be so far we've got a really cool team Faulkner about to evolve I think is gonna be the key to our success right now but we did get swift another flying type two bug types and liberty which i think is going to be really strong so without further ado let's jump into it is this even a trainer no this is just someone to tell me about bikes i don't even have a bike so that's the thing but we can battle this guy up here and of course you guys already know you guys already know we got the fire amazing team shiny shirts available right now you guys can go to teamshiny.com and check them out i have them on the screen right here i have to be very careful because geodude does have ground type moves and actually tell me how geodude kind of runs my entire team we'll go darwin um this is actually a problem yeah he has magnitude i had a feeling we had to be very careful wow i did a lot okay i'm actually gonna baby doll eyes and just drop his attack stat um but yeah don't forget oh god he's got rollout dude i'm gonna sand attack um we do have oh boy yeah this is gonna be really bad i'm actually super nervous can i be honest um i'm going to i'm gonna pursue and see how much it does he misses the rollout. Okay, that's good. I just have to chip this thing away with Pursuit. I don't really have a good answer to him. Uh, let's see. I'm going to Pursuit again. He's going to hit another rollout. And he crits it. And he gets a Citrus Berry. And we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, we're going to have to go Liberty. And he's going to miss the rollout this time. But he does have Magnitude, right? So, it's this is a little sketch. It's a little sketchy. A little sketchy sketchy here. I actually am in a lot of trouble already. Um... I mean, I can go Faulkner, right? But then I'm going to take a rollout. But it may be my best bet. Because I need to heal up Darwin. Yeah, I'm going to go Faulkner to predict a magnitude. There's the magnitude. doesn't do anything. And then I think I honestly need to use Super Potion here on Darwin. And I'm just going to have to take a rollout. He's going to hit it. We should take one, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then now I got to go back into Liberty. Kind of hope he hits a rollout. He does. Now I need him to miss. I think I want to go for confusion and just hit him on the special side. Okay, that's actually really sketch. I think he... This is bad. Please live. Okay. But now something dies if he hits another rollout. So, that's the thing. Um, This is really bad. I'm over here just trying to plug my Team Shiny shirts at TeamShiny.com. And I'm about to lose my first Pokemon of the playthrough. I need someone to dodge, dude. I think I'm gonna go with Swift. I think I'm gonna go Swift. I just need Swift to dodge it. Now he, I did, I did hit him with a, a sand attack. Swift, you're, you're what's going out. Miss, miss, miss. There goes our first Pokemon of the playthrough. Swift goes down. Um, Darwin should be, should be faster. We can go Darwin in pursuit. I'm sorry, Swift. I'm sorry. Gosh, that was hard. And here comes a, and it's a Sunkern is what's next. Like an easy Pokemon for me to deal with. Not even anything hard. A Sunkern. And he's got, oh, he's got Giga Drain though. Okay, jeez. Is that? Hidden Power Fire. And I've lost two Pokemon already to a random hiker on a bridge. It's Hidden Power Ice. No, what Hidden Power Rock? Oh my gosh, dude. We just got obliterated. I legit just lost two Pokemon in the first train of this episode, so that's just going super swell. I'm gonna go back and heal. I'm really devastated right now, though. Can I be honest? Because I'm not happy about that at all. Goodbye to our two fallen friends here. 
Unfortunately, we this is not a good start. All right, so I decided to kind of take a break and, and pause in this patch of grass here right outside the Pokemon Center to evolve Faulkner at 18. Just because, like, simply, we just need something on our team that can really deal with a lot of stuff. After that battle, we lost two Pokemon. I can't really be messing around. So we now have a Pidgeotto, which is super good. So I have that going for me. The rest of my team is still pretty weak, but I think we'll be okay. The unfortunate part of that battle is, you know... Had I had I gone for hypnosis and hit it, or had I had I you know had levitate instead of heat proof, like we would have been fine, which is annoying, but that's just not how that matchup went. So we have to kind of baby a few of our Pokemon for a little bit here. And one of the other things that's making this really hard is we don't have any held items, and my opponent does. Like the opponents are having held items and good items to utilize. So we just have to figure out a way to get some good stuff. So hopefully some Pokemon centers up ahead will give us those and uh, you know, we can make good use of that. We do have cut here though, so I can cut this little tree down and I get a great ball, which is, I guess, kind of helper. Can I have this now? Yeah, sure, here you go. You can have the great ball, buddy. He just leaves though. I need to stop being so nice to these people. Here we go again, another hiker. Uh, I'm very nervous about these hikers, dude. I'm not gonna lie. This one's got a drill burr. Okay, that's a little less scary. I'm just gonna baby doll eyes. We're gonna have to play really smart. He's got bulldoze, dude. Of course he has bulldoze. Um, I think I'm gonna baby doll eyes again. Yeah, let's do that. And then see what he's gonna do. He's gonna bulldoze again. Yeah, that's fun. Um, I could go fun guy. That seems like a really bad play though. So let's go Faulkner. He's gonna bulldoze and doesn't do anything. And he's not steel type yet, so we can just do that. And he doesn't seem to have anything to hit me. So we can, we can beat the drill without a problem, but Jeez, I need a break. Oh boy, is that Dante? Hey drive these grunts won't let me through. I can't take them on my own, help me. Uh, I guess we're double battling this? Let's do it. What do you got for me? Zero, squad zero, Gary and Taylor, coughing and Zubat. Okay, that's not bad. And we have a roll, so we should be okay here. I do think that the, the Zubat is definitely gonna have bite, but I'm just gonna confusion it and I think we'll be okay. Um, you know what I've been meaning to do too? Oh, he's got assurance. I was just gonna say, we do have, um, he gets it all back. Okay, I'm honestly just gonna go into Darwin here. I really don't wanna mess around. I do have Colber Berries, so I can give him a Colber Berry, which could be pretty useful. Um, but yeah, we can take assurance here with this guy. He's got Black Sludge on his, bro, this game is bonkers, dude. Like, it's actually wild. They're out here just giving Black Sludge to stuff. Like, just crazy, man. All right, we got his Bagon out here. I'm gonna get rid of the Zubat and just clear that off the field. The coughing is a little bit more annoying, but we have Dragon Breath that's gonna do a lot. Yeah, that's good, okay. And here comes the Rattata. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just keep going after the Rattata. I haven't seen anything from the coughing that makes me really concerned. And he almost knocks him out there, but he has a Berry Juice too. Everyone has Berry Juice but me. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to, I'll Pursuit, I'll just Pursuit. He's gonna get the Quick Attack Wild either way. And here comes the dry. That's a really bulky Rattata though. Jeez, I feel like he took that really well. I'm gonna, I don't think I knock him out if I don't Pursuit. So I'm gonna just go for Pursuit again. All right, that's good. And then Bagon goes for Bite. He's gonna get sludged. Hopefully he still has another Pokemon. He does, he has his Tyrogue. And I could just go for Pursuit and I should be able to beat the Gulp in here as well. Tyrogue goes for Brick Break. Why are you Brick Breaking? You need to be better than this. Okay, I, I have just one teammate left, and he's got a super potion. I don't have a teammate left, rather. I could at least pursue him to oblivion, but... Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay in this one. But gosh, they are not... There's the poison. And I can't synchronize it, but we should beat him with one more pursuit. Or you're gonna do another... Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go... Do I go Liberty here? Let's go Liberty and then just potion and see what he can do. Cause he may not be able to do anything to Liberty at this point, but he probably has some something. No, he doesn't. Okay, I think we're okay then. We can just confusion. He can't touch me. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. I need to get some new encounters, dude. The, the fact that I don't even have a six Pokemon team right now has me really nervous. All right, we do beat Team Squad Zero though with Dante as a uh, helper, I guess. Yeah, I suggest leaving unless you want to get hurt. You know, you're not half bad, but you'll never be better than me. I'm gonna go beat the next gym. I've got a lead we can take, but I've had my own aspirations of becoming champion someday. I heard a saying once, smell you later. Ah, yes. Good old Gary. 
Our old gym leader left to challenge the Elite Four. How selfish. Wait, so is there a gym leader here or not? A sailor? Oh, you lost your sailor pass. He left it at the lighthouse. So if we find a lighthouse, we need to go check out what's going on there. My boyfriend works as a trainer at the local gym and he loves rock types. Oh God, I'm in trouble. He's got a million and one of these rock smash TMs. You can have it if you want it. Oh, do I get to take this? Okay, well I do get rock smash as a TM, which I guess is good, but my team against rock types? Probably not super great. Oh God, you're gonna be fine, Rocco. I know it's hard to come from another region, but the format is the same. I guess so. Suppose I've got my work cut out for me, yeah? If you need any help, I'm free this week doing research myself, so you're welcome to tag along or ring me. Thanks, love. Be seeing ya. Who's Rocco? Is she the? Is he the gym leader? I'm off to get in on track. Back to the gym. Okay, so he is the gym leader. His name is Rocco, and we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna beat Rocco later. I'm gonna check out this. Uh, well, I do have a Paris, but <laughs> that's not gonna be very good. Uh, looks like there's not a whole lot going on here. I can get some super potions, I guess. Just to have them, some regular potions. Um, I'm gonna grab maybe two great balls just to, to be safe, maybe one more. Um, I'm gonna have to do some training though, is what this comes down to. But let's look around a little bit longer. Maybe there's another encounter I can get or something good. Oh, I could fish. Oh, I could fish here. This guy's got daycare. Can I go this way? Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, I don't have enough badges, but I do have a fishing rod, so I could, in theory, fish in this town. Here's the gym. So that's good. So. Maybe I should just fish. Maybe I can get an encounter here. Because I'm I'm desperate at this point for anything. Please tell me I can get a Pokemon here. Please. Oh, I can get a Poke. It got away. Okay. Well, I can get a Pokemon here, though. Something did show up. So I need to turn off the speed up while I do this. Okay. Okay. I got something. Give me something good, please. Okay. Listen. I'm using a Gyarados. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I'm gonna have to use a Gyarados. I mean, it's really, really not the ideal scenario uh, in terms of what I could have had, but we take it. So let's let's catch the Magikarp, I suppose. Shrimp the Magikarp does come onto my team. We take those. Let's take a look at it. Calm nature's pretty bad. Splash, this is very bad. Okay, so I'm actually gonna throw you in the daycare then. Um, I think I have enough money to justify this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give it to you and I'll, I'll see if we can get any levels on it. And then I need to do some training on the other Pokemon. Um, but we're gonna need Gyarados, I think, before I even try to take on this gym, even if it ends up being a little over leveled. Cause I just have such a bad matchup. I'm gonna see what this mine is over here and see if we can get anything in there as well. My Geodude is the size of the earth. My Geodude is a thousand times bigger than yours. Okay, well, I can go, I can go inside, so. Let's put Darwin in the front and let's see what's going on inside this cave. And hopefully we can get another encounter. Terride cave. So we can definitely get another encounter. I can't leave the cave, but I can at least get my encounter. So let's see what we're gonna get. It's gonna be a Drillbur. That's huge. That's actually huge. Okay. Okay. That's massive. That's massive. I needed something. And this is something. This is a very powerful Pokemon here. I feel good about this one. Okay, he broke out, that's fine. Let's try it again. Okay. Um, I need to figure out how to weaken him a little bit more without knocking him out. Um, could go fun guy and scratch, which should do less. That's probably my best bet. Yeah, I think that could work. Oh, I only have cut. Um, I could stun spore then. He's gonna rapid spin. It's old rapid spin. I paralyzed him, and now I'm gonna great ball him. Please stay in the ball. Yes! We got him, baby! Drillbert! Dude, this is this is actually massive. Drillbert. Bert. Drillbert! It's Drillbert, baby! Oh my god, I'm so happy. We could have had an Onyx. I'll take the Drillbert, to be honest. I'll take the Drillbert. Um, let's see him. Lax nature, sand rush. So if we face a sand team, we get double speed. We have mud slap. I mean, this is big. 
So I think, I think honestly, I need to get everyone to a decent level right now. I need to stop and grind because the last gym was 13. We kind of came up on this quickly. I feel like they're like probably 16, 17, 18, somewhere in there. So I got to at least get everyone a few levels. So let's just take some time. Let's do a little grinding before I do this gym since it seems like we're going to jump into the gym right away. So I, I just have to take the time to grind. <laughs> Open the very blatantly locked gate by reaching around back. Berries! I need them. I need them very badly. Thank you. Orange berries, okay, we got something. And citrus berries, okay, I needed these for the gym, thank you. I uh, actually ended up going all the way back to the previous town just to see if training up there would be better, but I think this cave is the best bet for me. I have been grinding for this level because Drobert learns dig at level 19 and we needed that. We needed that real bad. We needed a really strong move. Here's an update on where we're at. I got everyone to 17. Uh, everyone's sitting pretty good. I don't think there's any really big level spikes or move spikes that happen at this point. So I think the last thing is just the Magikarp. Um, so I'm gonna go see where that's at and see if we can actually be good to go to try to challenge this gym. I may be over leveled. I may be, you know, under, I don't know where I'm at, honestly, guys, in the grand scheme of, of this team, just because this game is very hard, and with my opponents having held items, and they're gonna have evolved forms and all this stuff, I can't be too prepared, I think. So, let's see what's up with this Magikarp. I'm gonna heal up, and hopefully we can get a Gyarados, because if the worst case scenario, Intimidate, could be the difference of us losing the playthrough versus winning the playthrough. So let's see what's going on with that. Okay, so this is our squad headed into the gym. I'm gonna see what levels the, the trainer Pokemon are in the gym, and uh, we're ultimately gonna get shrimp to 20 before I actually face the gym leader. But uh, I also grabbed an extra level on Fungi as I threw him in the daycare just to grab a quick level there. But that's that, guys. I am very nervous for this, but let's see how it goes. Kind of looks like Brock's gym. Greetings, Challenger. This is Rocco's Rock type gym. I recommend grass or water types. Oh, thanks for that. All right, let's see what these trainers have. We got three trainers, which is good for us because I need the XP. And they're going to kick things off with a rock and roll at 14. So I should actually be fine from a level perspective, right? Like my Pokemon are pretty high level. I had a feeling that, that was something we we're going to deal with is Stealth Rock, so that's something we'll have to be mindful of. Um, and Sandstorm, which we have Sand Rush. So we really have one of the perfect answers for these uh, Pokemon, hopefully, in the fact that we have a Drillbur. I really, really am hopeful that Drillbur can do some serious work in this game and in this gym. So here comes a Geodude. Um, this is kind of tricky. I'm going to Baby Doll Eyes and then Switch, probably. He's got Earthquake! So we have to be careful because Dig does mean that uh, if we get Earthquaked, we actually take extra damage there. And you can already see this is very challenging. Right out the gates, I'm already dealing with an Earthquaking Geodude. And Stealth Rocks are up, so that's a thing. Um, I'm leaning towards... I mean, I don't really want to go Faulkner. I could go Faulkner. Let's go Faulkner and then switch out. There's Stealth Rocks. There's the Earthquake. Okay. So, we presume a Rock-type move is coming, so now I'm gonna go Drillbert. You can already see, and I'm so many levels above, right? Oh, he just straight up Earthquakes again. And that does that much. So that's a thing. Um, what's my answer right now? I guess it's Bach and a Faulkner. And I'm gonna take more Stealth Rock damage. Which is lovely. I'm gonna go for the Potion here. Heal up and see if he's gonna go for a Rock move. Now he Earthquakes again. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. But I'm gonna sand attack. And he's just gonna keep earthquaking. Maybe that's all he has? I'm gonna sand attack again. Maybe, maybe he's like choice banded into it? August? Bro, he could he could be choice banded into earthquake. I have no idea, but I'm gonna gust again. And yeah, he might be locked into earthquake because that's doing so much damage. He might be banded into earthquake, guys. That's crazy, dude. I'm gonna go heal and take on the next trainer. I like caves. All right, bro. I'm glad to hear that you like caves, homie. Uh, a Kranidos. Lovely. Kranidos is actually really tricky because he could have a dark type move too. I'm gonna go Darwin. And he's gonna rock team right out the gates. I can take it at least. He is toxic orb for some reason. I'm just gonna baby doll eyes, see what he does next. Oh, he's toxic orb facade. That's swell. Let's super potion up and then I'll baby doll eyes again. 
Okay! Jeez, dude. I, I, I have no words for this game right now. I really have no words for this game right now. I'm gonna go Liberty. Uh, he is minus two. Here's the rock team, that's fine. He gets a speed drop, which is okay. I'm gonna go for the... I mean, I feel like he's gonna have assurance, dude. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna go for the confusion. He's gonna do a rock team. Okay, that's fine. I'll get through the credit of the, the facade toxic orb creditors, because that's a thing. And here comes Shieldon. Shieldon's a little less scary. I'm gonna hypnosis. He just randomly has flamethrower on his shield on? I have heat proof, but okay. I don't know if this is an engagement I want to stay in on. Uh, Drillbur can come in and go for Dig, which is probably my best play. I'm actually gonna go Shrimp for the XP and then switch out again. We should be able to take that pretty well. And then now I'm gonna go Drillbur and see what he does. Rock Tomb. Okay, well we resist that at least. And I have four times hit with uh, Dig, so let's go for Dig. He's got Ice Beam. What is this, dude? <laughs> like, what am I even facing right now? Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know if I can mess around with this. I honestly feel like I need to get Gyarados before I even go any further because these these just regular gym trainers are ridiculous. And there is the evolution we have been waiting for. Gyarados, AKA Shrimp, coming in to hopefully do big things. And if you want to learn Dragon Rage or Aqua Tail right now, I'm not going to be mad, but I guess Bite will work. And I think we're in pretty good shape here. I'm just going to grab one more level on Liberty, and then I think we're going to take on that final trainer, and then take on the Rock-type gym. All right, last trainer here, caught ya. Let's see what you got, man. These last couple trainers have been no joke, and he's got a Relicanth, which is just a doozy. He's going to waterfall me and do a ton, but I do have that, which he has leftovers, so that's the thing. Let's just go straight into Shrimp here. This is where Intimidate's really nice. We can Intimidate him. Kind of drop his attack a little bit. He's got leftovers. I can take one rock move, I would presume. I do have rock smash that so I just gave him. We do a lot there. He's got rock tomb. And he almost knocked me out because he crit me there. Um, I think I definitely want to switch out here. Um, oof. I feel like I've been oofing a lot today. Let's just go Darwin. And we can dodge a rock tomb. And then I'm going to go for pursuit and see how much this does. I feel like it's not going to do that much. Yeah, this did nothing. Okie doke. Um, let's confuse Ray then. Relicanth, dude. Level 17 as well. He's going to rock tomb again. He is confused. He's getting a lot of health back. I'm going to pursuit. I just need him to hit himself. There you go. And he's faster than me now as well. I think I win this engagement without too much of an issue though. Assuming no big crits or something. I think at this point my play is actually, ooh, um, we know he wants to waterfall. I do have dry skin fun guy, but he's not taking a rock to him. All right, um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, I can definitely go shrimp and then rock smash. I'm fast, let's do that. Cause I feel like he's gonna go for waterfall. He does and we live it. And we can just rock smash now and finish him off. That was a really risky play. I'm not even going to lie. Because if he rock teams there, I straight up lose. But it's all good. I'm going to heal and then we're taking out the gym. I do have berries. We're going to use those too. Okay, I'm not going to pretend like I'm very confident right now. Because I am definitely not. But let's see how it goes. What you say, G? My name's Rocco, innit? I just took over this gym. So you know, allow if, me if I ain't the best. I'm a wee bit out of my comfort zone. Because this is a much greener town than I'm used to. Anyway, this ain't about me, it's about you. Let's go. All right, Rocco, the gym leader. Oh boy. He's got three Pokemon and he's gonna kick things off with a Lunatune, which honestly, I'm okay with this. Um, I think I just hard go Darwin here and start pursuiting is probably my best bet. The biggest concern about Lunatone is if he starts going for, maybe I should just Metal Claw. I'm just gonna Metal Claw. The concern is if he starts setting up on me. He just goes for a big side beam. He does chunk me, but I can finish him off with another Metal Claw. So this battle's already started off way better than I thought. So that's a that's really good. Here comes the Riolu, which isn't even a rock type. I'm gonna go Shrimp. Get an Intimidate off on him. And he's gonna go for Revenge. This is fine. I'm gonna go for Rock Smash. Big damage, no counter. Okay, he's got Rock Tomb. 
Not counter though, which is all that matters here. And I can finish him off with a rock smash, but I'm actually thinking maybe I should switch out. He's gonna probably rock tomb. I could go Liberty. The reason I'm debating on switching out is just because then I can get my Intimidate back for later. But like, what do I want to even take a Rock Tomb? Nothing really. Maybe I do just go Liberty here. Yeah, let's go Liberty. Cause then I, I think that keeps his health high and allows me to, like I said, switch him back in later. And I'll just go for Confusion and we'll actually finish off the Rio Loose. That's two down. And Soul Rock, okay. This is actually fine. I can, I can totally win this gym. I think I just go Darwin. Rock Polish, that's fine. As long as he's not Calm Minding. Rock Slide, he flinches me. I'm actually gonna Baby Doll Eyes to drop his attack. Let's go Rock Slide again. I get my Citrus, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Baby Doll Eyes a second time. So I am playing this this flinch game, but honestly, this I, I'm, I thought this was gonna be much worse. Um, I'm gonna use a Super Potion heal up, and then I think we're actually okay, guys. I had to prepare a lot for this battle, and I legit spent about an hour grinding and I don't regret it because I think if I was at level 15 or 16 or where I was before I did all that grinding, I think I would have gotten blown back. <sighs> okay, this is why you can't take anything for granted in these battles. Um, I do still have two potions to use, so we're gonna use another super potion here. We're still not out of the woods yet, as you can see. Let's pursuit. Rock slide again. All right, I get the pursuit off. He hasn't used any potions or anything, so I'm still weary that he's gonna He's got Morning Sun. Okay, so this this may be a little tricky. Um, I think I have Baby Doll Eyes again or Confuse Ray. I'll Baby Doll Eyes. I really don't have any more potions, so we're gonna Confuse Ray. He's gonna Rock Slide. I'll get the Confuse Ray off. That'll help. I just need him to hit himself a few times and we'll actually be in good shape. But my Pursuit's doing no damage. He's gonna Morning Sun again. Hopefully he only has five. Hopefully he only has five. He's gonna Morning Sun, so that's four Morning Suns. Hit yourself, there's a hit, okay. He's probably gonna snap out of Confusion here though. Any Morning Suns again, so that's five Morning Suns, so he should only have five. And he's got Willow, so he's gonna burn himself. That works out so well, dude, let's go. Oh, that's actually massive. So the only way I think I, this is my last potion, by the way, my third. The only way, well, he could full restore, I guess. He could full restore. I'm gonna pursue, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. Die to burn, yes! We beat the gym, holy macaroni. <laughs> that was, dude. We beat Rocco and his soul rock at Looted Zone, earned the earth badge. And now we get rock tomb as well. Oh my gosh. I know, I know I overleveled guys, but I don't think if I don't think anyone watching this should be blaming me. Oh god, Dante, do I have to battle you now? A Drive, I thought I'd find you around here somewhere. You just beat the gym. I've already beaten him. It was a cakewalk. You know how Blake wanted us to find out more about the mysterious meteor? Well, it turns out there's a professor in Zeph Town who studies meteorites. He's in Terride Cave right now. Let's go before he leaves. Oh, thank goodness I don't have to battle you. Okay. Well, let's heal up and then let's head into the cave. I feel really good right now with our team. I feel like we're, we're leveled up for the future, um, which is good. But man, oh man, you guys have seen, this game is no joke. I just remember there was this rock smash spot up here, so I figured I'd come up, grab whatever we got here. Poison Barb, which boosts the power of poison type moves. Finally a held item, but again, not really one that we're gonna be able to utilize right now. So it's great, but I don't really have any Pokemon that can take advantage of that. I'm gonna take my berries back though. Oh, here we go. Oh, for Arceus' sake, Squad Zero are here. All right, stick to the script. Don't worry, Professor, we'll save you. You kids won't do anything. Professor, you're coming with us. Not so fast. What do you think you can take us? Not a chance. Now leave before we make you. A-Drive, you handle the other one. You're gonna regret this, kid. All right, another double battle with Squad Zero here. Oh, it's not a double battle, it's a single battle. And he's got a Growlithe. Level 20, it's an Ice-type Growlithe. What? Okay, hold on, time out. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Why is it a water or ice type Growlithe? It's a water type Growlithe. Okay. Well, the good news is I have Intimidate Gyarados. The bad news is, oh, no bad news. He didn't, he didn't flinch me or confuse me rather. 
Nice! Okay. Now you leave or there will be trouble. Oh my god, thank goodness. Thanks for saving me. I'm Professor North and you are? I'm Dante and this is A-Drive. I can't thank you enough, but why did you help me? Well, we've been sent by Professor Blake to investigate the meteor crash site and you're an astrologist, so... No problem. Meet me at my lab in Zeftown whenever you are ready and I'll go over it. Okay, see you later. Peace out then, bro. I'll meet you there. Ooh, another item. All right, so let's get through this cave and let's see what's going on. I think we can just get through this cave, no problem. We got a red shard from rock smashing and an earth plate to boost our ground type moves. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. They're giving me items that I can use. Drillbert, you have a held item now. I did pick up an ice gem earlier too, but that's not really useful right now. They call me Jones and I'm an explorer. Jones? Indiana Jones? A sand shrew level 16. All right, we should be all right here. Um, I don't really have the best ways to deal with a sand shrew. I guess, I guess fungi's cool. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just beat him with uh, Darwin. We really need Darwin to get a better attack. Like, I know, oh boy, there's Fury Cutter. Okay, we're switching. Uh, let's go Faulkner. I know that Darwin's like a more defensive Pokemon, but he's just like really, really underwhelming right now until he gets some better attacks. All right, we should beat this Sandshrew, no problem. He did have rollout, but no big deal. Faulkner gets a level, and here comes an Anareef, which is a little bit sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think Liberty's probably okay though. Smackdown, which is fine. I'm gonna Psy Wave. It's gonna, f oh boy. Another Fury Cutter, man. And he's leftovers, so that's a thing. Um, Let's go to Shrim to Intimidate. I think that's the best play here. That way his Fury Cutters aren't gonna do that much. I did Intimidate, and we can actually just go for, let's go for Rock Smash to drop his defense. Oh, that did a lot. And Smackdown, which is fine. I can just finish him with Rock Smash then. Having a Gyarados is amazing. You trying to battle me too, bro? Oh, we got another wild Pokemon. A Mawile. I trained against a lot of Mawiles earlier, I'm not gonna lie, but let's battle this guy. Let's test your skills in battle. What do you got for me, bro? Explorer Bob's got a Machop. Okay, well, I'm definitely switching then. Uh, I do have Faulkner. Honestly, I think I just go Shrimp and Intimidate him. He's only level 16, so I think we're gonna be fine. He's gonna low sweep me, drop my speed, but I do have Rock Smash, let's just go for that. Dude, he's, ch I mean, I, that was a crit, but my man Shrimp is chunking some things right now, dude. He's doing some damage. And a Rhyhorn. Uh, Rhyhorn's actually kind of a problem. I'm gonna go Drillbert and Mud Slap him, I think. Smackdown as well. I, I'm a little nervous. He's not gonna have Earthquake, is he? I'll just dig. He's not gonna have Earthquake. Yeah, he's not gonna have Earthquake at level 16. There we go, Drillbert. Earthquake dig, baby. By my calculations, I will win this battle. Are you sure about that? What do you got, scientist? He's got a Clink. So, this is a little sketch, because I feel like Clink probably has an electric move, but I just one-shot him, so it's all good. And Pikachu most certainly has an electric move, so we're gonna switch out. <laughs> I'm not messing with, yeah, Electro. He, bro, he's, he says, I'm gonna just Electro Ball, dog. Well, he's got Brick Break, too. Luckily for us, we have Earthplane Drill Bird. Okay, so I actually found the exit, but there was another part of the cave that I didn't explore, so let me just backtrack a little bit. Hey, come here, I'm here to rock your team up! So this is the other leg of the cave. I'm not sure if there's anything down here, but this dude's got a Voltorb, and that's a little sketchy, dude. I'm gonna go in a Drillbert and hope this dude doesn't just blow up on me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, dude. Oh, okay. I got really nervous that I was about to die. He's gonna substitute? Tell me how that's like the baller play right there. Now I gotta deal with this. Okay, I have to switch. I actually can't stay in against him. Um, let's go fun guy. He's gonna substitute again, bro. What is this substituting fun guy here? Or substituting, he's got Thunderbolt too. Okay, I, I faded his sub. He's gonna do it again though. And I'm fully paralyzed. He's gonna Thunderbolt again. We're taking him pretty well, but I think I'm gonna go Drillbert this time. He's gonna Thunderbolt again. I'm gonna... I'm gonna dig. He's gonna Swagger and miss. I'm gonna break his Substitute. And then he's gonna Swagger again. Which is kind of tricky, because I, I really don't want to risk this. But I also don't want to take a Thunderbolt to the face. So let's go back in a fun guy. He had one more Substitute in him too. Okay, we're gonna go Drill Bird. I, I have to just like play this really safe because it would be stupid to lose a Pokemon right now. But he's not gonna have any more um, 
So I'm gonna have any more substitutes at least. So I'll break that one, and then he swaggers but misses this time, and then I just finish him with one slap, so. Level 19 Luxio, dude. So I'm actually right where I need to be again, level-wise. The game scaled pretty quickly there. And what's over here? Hopefully just an item or something. Oh, there's actually like a whole ladder going down. Okay, guess there's more to explore. What is that? Oh, there's a Lunatone and a little girl. Am I gonna have to save the little kid from the Lunatone right now? That's presumably what's about to happen. Hey kid, my Pokemon are super weak. This Lunatone is bugging me. Please make it go away. Eh, I'll help you out, why not? Feeling generous today. Oh, it's level 20 though. Probably shouldn't have been as generous as I am. Flinch, side wave, okay. Ooh, that did a lot. There we go. Thumbs up, no problem. Thank you so much. You don't give me anything. I just saved you from this giant moon that's attacking you and you giveth me nothing? Despicable children these days. Oh, a shuckle. I would have loved a shuckle. I really would have. Ah, I found the final den of this room, but without surf, I can't get anything. So I guess that's it for this cave. I got a dragon gem. Nice. And we have made it to Quell Road and let's see what our encounters are here. A lot of cool stuff. Dwebble, Mareep, Krabby. Nin oh, I would love an Incada. I would love an Incada. Uh, and then some really good water types. Mudkip, dude. I Maybe fishing could be an option too, just to get another water type. But honestly, I like what we can get, dude. Mareep could be really good. I like it. But we're gonna save that encounter for the next episode, guys. So be sure to hit that like button down below. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, if you guys are enjoying Daybreak. We've got two badges down. We're doing it. We had two losses at the beginning of the episode, which is pretty sad. But we're hanging in there as best as we can. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget to pick up our brand new Team Shawnee swag at TeamShawnee.com. we got some great designs there. So check them out. Next episode, we'll have to see. It's either going to be Thursday. For us. It's going to be this week, though. We'll have an episode soon just because the Pokemon presents. And you can tune in at Twitch.tv slash Adrive for the presents an hour before it launches. That's 8 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday the 18th. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.